Hello, welcome to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. I hope you guys are having a great day. I just saw an interview. It was on Instagram and on Facebook. And anyways, um, it was Celine Dion doing this very brief interview. And she was very intense telling people that she has nobody. She's got no man, nobody. And when she goes to breakfast or something, she does for herself. She doesn't care what other people think that, it, you know, so it, it came it, and then she was happy or something, you know, but it came off to me. It sounded very, very defensive and sad. Um, some people kind of viewed it as strength, but I saw it as weakness, a very defensive energy, uh, someone who's broken and wounded. So I wanted to get some cards on Celine Dion. What's going on with Celine Dion? Some were mentioning, obviously, how thin she is. I know her husband died several years ago, and that was a huge heartbreak for her. She does have some twins. Um, so let's find some energy on Celine Dion. Celine Dion. What is going on with Celine Dion? I'm going to do a 10-card spread. Something seems real interesting. I will dig deeper into it and pull that particular card out. So here we go. Celine Dion, what is going on with her? Because that was kind of weird. I mean, really, really defensive. Not the energy of someone who's content and happy. So here we go. Celine Dion. What's going on with Celine Dion? Celine Dion. Celine Dion. This is the, uh, what deck is this? This is the Light Sears Tarot. Right here. That is a Light Sears Tarot from eBay. It's small, handy, dandy, small size. Here we go. And I've never used this one before. I did shuffle it really well and I cleansed it before I uh, pulled it out of the, before I hit play. So I did all my cleansing and shuffling prior to as well. So here we go. For the starters, we have Knight of Cups. Yeah. I think she is missing her husband. Knight of Cups. And I'm thinking she's wishing she had someone to love her. She's wishing, she wishes she could bring change with love in her heart. I think she's wishing for a dream lover, someone romantic and charming, someone to go on adventures with, exploration, some passion, someone who will, who will um, court her in essence. So I, I think she's really missing love in her life is how I feel about that. And the challenging position, yes, is Five of Swords. So with Five of Swords, that's total conflicts. Uh, she's feeling hostility. She's having to swallow her pride. She's feeling total discord. And she's not at peace. She's truly not at peace. And that is her challenging position is to get into that peaceful position. So she's not at peace. She's not at peace because she doesn't have her, her Knight of Cups. So yeah, she's missing her husband. This is uh, probably going to be a spread of a woman who's in mourning still, uh, quite possibly. And then we have here, oh yeah, Ace of Cups right here. So the focal point is she's wishing she could have a new emotional beginning. She's missing love in her life. And she was so hell bent on saying, I don't need anyone. Really putting out, I don't need anyone. Very, very defensive. No, that's because she wants something. She's missing that. Under the surface, the hidden energy is the Page of Cups. So with the Page of Cups, that is, you know, wanting happy news to come in. She wants a new relationship. Oh boy. Yeah, she really, really is missing love. Big time. That is why that energy was so defensive. You could probably Google it and take a look for yourself. Uh, you know, it, I don't know who was filming her, but it started, it's kind of floating around there now. Celine Dion uh, interview. Um, her being so defensive. So there we go. What's not working for what happened in the past, it's no longer working for her, is the Four of Cups in reverse. So she needs a new outlook. She knows that she's discontented. She knows that, you know, she's she's no longer wishing. She's kind of past that point of wishing and she needs a new outlook. And, and she's a very stubborn person. And uh, that's a lack of, lack of um, stableness too, because it's four in reverse and fours is stability. She doesn't have that emotional stability and she needs to take on a new outlook uh, because she's been very discontented since the death of her husband. Unhappy, not happy with any love that's been given to her. She's not willing to accept it. 
any guy who's probably tried asking her out, she's not willing to accept it. So she needs a new outlook. That's what Spirit is saying. And what she's been doing hasn't been working for her, which is leading into the future position, which is justice, justice in the reverse position. So justice in reverse is basically, you know, feeling that it, her karma was not deserved uh, because justice upright is truth coming out. So this is kind of hiding the truth in essence. She's trying to hide the fact that she's unhappy. Uh, she wants to keep it a secret. So that's why she was so defensive and I'm doing well. I don't need anyone. I have myself. Those were the words she was using. Literally, I have myself. I have nobody. She was saying, I have nobody. So she doesn't want people to think she's unhappy. Uh, she doesn't want to make any decisions because justice upright, you make decisions. You make decisions to take a new outlook. In order for her to have new love, she has to take a new outlook. And um, she has to use intellect over emotions. And she's not doing that with this in the reverse position. She's using emotions over intellect. And so that will change her life and change her karma. But right now she's into this emotions ruling everything. She's completely ruled by her emotions and she's not thinking clearly is how I feel about this. Um, the seventh position is the feelings in the situation. It is eight of cups and reverse. This is something you're going to overcome. You know, you walk away from the problem. You know, you overcome it. You're trying to overcome it. At least you're making an attempt to overcome it. She doesn't think she'll ever overcome it. And it's also an eight, which is jealousy. And you overcome with movements with the eights. And she's doing absolutely nothing to overcome it with movements. She's just in this really uh, despair, detached mode, you know, very stubborn, apathy, and discontented. And she's doing nothing about it to fix the situation. So that's why she's got such uh, negative energy. It was really, really negative energy. I was blown over by how negative the energy was. That's why I was um, really inspired to do this. Because I was really, I couldn't believe how how her energy was. It was it was really something else. Uh, and a lot of people don't see see through it. They, they might think, oh, she's a queen. She's, she's tough. She's tough. No, that was wounded and broken. So here we go. The next position here is the eighth, is outside influences, how other people view her. Yep, other people view her as the ace of swords. So with the ace of swords, you know, this is someone who's who has clarity. They think she's got total clarity with no mental blocks. Uh, you know, she's got a great voice. She speaks her truth. Uh, you know, I am, you know, I'm, I am all swords here. Aha. Listen to me. I've got, I've got this epiphany. Uh, so it's like, she's speaking an epiphany of her not needing anyone, you know, so they're seeing her as someone with a clear thought and, and clarity. Uh, and that this is like a new her speaking individually, uh, with no duality and that she's a single individual uh, with no mental blocks. Uh, so that's how people are seeing her as like a source of strength, a source of vocal strength, which she does have a strong vocal vocal voice, but she is really in a lacking mode here. Um, despair. I mean, really emotional despair. So much cups on the table here. It's ridiculous. Cups and swords on the table, lots and lots of cups, and then feeling that everything's unjustified, life is unfair, and I'm doing nothing to improve it. I'm not changing my mindset so that my life can turn around. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty sad reading, actually. And then this position here, the ninth, is the hopes and fears. The hopes and fears is the ace of wands, but it's in reverse. Pretty lovely looking card here ace of wands and that is trying to start the fire within you you know coming up with a clear new idea uh, of how to become enthusiastic in life and how to how to get that enthusiasm and energy surge of energy back in your life uh, she doesn't have that surge of energy she's giving it all a thumbs down i don't want it i don't want to start anything new with anyone i don't want passion and power within a relationship she doesn't want to put any effort in because, you know, it's passion. Look at all that red. Look at the pink. This is a passion card, a mental passion, uh, you know, a surge of energy. She has no energy to put into a new relationship, new love. And she's basically being sort of a sword woman of saying no. Uh, so this is this is kind of sad here. The Ace of Wands is telling all men and, and any prospects a thumbs down. Sorry, not interested. 
Mm. Phallic symbol in reverse too. Not going to have sex with you. Mm. Uh, so yeah, she's saying no on all fronts to any suitors who might want to go out with her. She's turned them all down. She's turned them all down. And then the final outcome here is the, the moon in reverse. So, you know, with the moon in reverse, she's not living, you know, she's, she, she does, she doesn't live in fear, but she, she needs to confess that she's not being fully honest. Uh, the moon is, is smoke and mirrors. The moon is, 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 is living in fear. And it's, it's just, it's that whole, you know, the moon is also the mother card. So she's probably focused on being a mother to her kids because she's got twins. And so she's probably focused on that. And uh, so, you know, she, it's the dream versus the reality. And right now she's not living the dream. Her reality and the dreams just not, are, are not in alignment with each other. And so, but there's no lies and deception going on right now. She thinks she's, she is speaking her truth. She is speaking her truth that she's in, because with this ace of swords here, she is speaking her truth, but it's pretty depressing. Uh, and she is really resistant. I would say she's resistant to change anything. She doesn't want to change anything. She wants to stay as this, this grieving widow. So she's remaining this grieving widow here is what this spread is saying. It's kind of what I figured when I saw that energy. And she's not willing to accept anybody. Uh, that That's even friendships. It looks like she completely blocked herself off. Uh, from friends, from any male male energy coming into her life, any any compatibility. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, we have here Page of Swords. Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is, you know, she wants to put out nothing but good news about herself. She wants people to think good of her. So this the Swords is person who puts out messages. So she's putting out a happy message about herself that she is fine but this page of swords can be kind of ruthless and um, they're good at fixing issues but it's a very defensive stance so that's exactly how she came off as a very very defensive stance it didn't come off as happy and grounded it came off as angry and defensive so this is what this card is it's very angry it's very defensive uh, most swords swords of the knight or the page tend to go on the attack and so she's kind of was going on to the attack. She's trying to stop the, the gossip. Uh, she's She gathers information on people, on things, and she knows what people are saying about her uh, since she has gathered information. And so then she turns around and puts it out to the news. Uh, I'm actually doing fine. And so she's turning kind of ruthless on trying to put out a positive message about herself. And I think she thinks she's being a little witty about it or tries to hope that people will think that of her and she's thinking she's going to fix this defensive stance fix fix the the whatever is said about her publicly across social media she thinks she's gonna she's in the she's fixing it uh, but she's not she's not she really isn't uh, so this is kind of a ruthless energy but she and she thinks that she's putting out positive but you know from my readings and what i know about the knights and the pages of swords uh, they they go on the attack. They're very swift. They think they have a call to action to do something, and so they act and they do it with kind of ruthlessness with that sword. So she's not in a good place. She's actually in a very very uh, defensive stance and has been so since her husband passed away. Doesn't look like she's healing at all. Um, so that's that that speaks volumes. I don't know. You can probably go to Instagram and. And Google it or you know it'll probably pop up because it seems to be streaming right now it's today's stream so I caught it on Facebook and then I it had a click to Aunt to uh, Instagram so then I, I saw it and it's only like gosh I think it's maybe 10 seconds long and 20 seconds long in total but I was like blown over by the negativity so here we go what we have here is the star card in reverse star card in reverse so she hasn't had any healing uh, she feels ignored. She's arrogant. Her ego is bruised. She's suffering from illness. She has to come to terms with the path, and she just isn't having any faith right now in herself. And so she's really, really lonely. She has no renew. There's no healing. Um, there, there's just no new things coming in. Um, she's vulnerable. She doesn't feel popular. She feels like she's lost her star power. 
Uh, star card is about getting attention and renewal and healing and getting lots of attention and optimism, feeling feeling like everybody's watching you. And so she feels like she's really, um, she's not in a healing mode in her career, per, like career-wise, personal-wise, spiritually, mentally broken, 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 very broken. However, she's a very wealthy woman. The fish represents money very wealthy she's got all the money but she's a very broken individual let's get at the bottom of the deck the bottom of the deck what do i have here purity in reverse it's this these lilies here and that is purity in re reverse so she's not feeling too pure and clean uh so she's feeling i'd say that that's probably from her bitterness because she's very bitter right now extremely bitter and then we have here the ship and with the ship, she's not going anywhere. She's not going to do anything. The ship is, it's a good time to go do something. It's, 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 it's showing movement, um, you know, movement within your emotions and getting past the cloudy days, maybe going to better shores. She's not doing that. She's not doing that. She's got money. She's not healed. She doesn't feel pure. She feels dirty. She feels like I got all this money and I've got nobody. Wow. Very sad. It's pretty sad energy. Let's pull some more on her sadness and loneliness. We got here the two of swords in reverse. She does have clarity on the situation. She does have clarity. She's made up her mind and she knows that she's taken off that blindfold. That blindfold is off. She does see clearly and she does feel like she's under attack constantly. So that's why she's so disappointed. And she also knows and feels that she's running out of time. She's running out of time to date because of her age, running out of time because, you know, uh, it's, I think it's the age factor in all due respect. So I think she feels that life is, is getting by pretty fast and she hasn't put in the effort, even though she would like to have it. And let's see, what do I have here? I'm going to take that, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So right here, she, the eight, she, she does feel liberated though. She does feel a sense of liberation with clarity and that her time's running out. So maybe she's kind of hoping she dies sooner than later. Uh, I also have here the high priestess in reverse. So she's kind of lost herself. High priestess in reverse is you've, you've lost your sense of self um, and clouded insight. Clouded insight, she's lost her sense of self, I'd say because she lost her other half. She doesn't recognize her life anymore, doesn't know who she truly is, feels blank and empty, probably despondent, disconnected, uh, checks out, uh, probably got some other mental health stuff going on here with the two of pentacles. And she's, it's a juggling act here with people, with partnerships. And uh, so she feels it's just a juggling act that um, she's not willing to do, three of swords. Yeah, because of disappointments, broken heart. She's not feeling like she can do it. She just can't juggle it. She's not feeling like she can juggle it and um, doesn't want to take it on. Not willing to take it on. Yeah, not willing to take it on. And then these other ones that came out, Four of Swords. Yeah, she's going to hide away in a little nest. Doesn't want to draw attention to herself. This is the rest, healing, defeated card. Completely feeling defeated with the um, Page of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, she page of pentacles in reverse. This is, you know, lack of drive and focus, just wants to hide out, doesn't want love, not willing to try it, not willing to even give it any attempts whatsoever. Knight of pentacles in reverse, you know, so knight of pentacles is a very slow moving energy. And so this is very stagnant, lazy, unfinished, not willing to do it. Does want does not want any results coming in, does not want a man coming in is not willing to plant any seeds, is not going to do it. No, she is just saying no across the board to any man in her life. So yeah, she does not, she's not willing to go there. Uh, she's so broken, she's not willing to go there. And then we have here the Knight of Swords in reverse. So yeah, she's saying no to all men. We got no to all men on, across this entire spread. She doesn't want to talk to them. She doesn't want their energy around them. She's not willing to love them. She's not willing to balance energies or give it any attempts whatsoever. Yeah, this is like a total hands down, I am not going there ever again a spread. So I guess she cared about her husband so much so that she doesn't think that anyone else 
could be for her. She's just completely shut down to it. Yeah. Interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.